The Israeli bombs and rockets streaking through the skies of Gaza traced not only a path of death and terror for Palestinians in 2009. They also outlined the smoke trails of a trauma's past, from the ever-tightening siege, from the frequent invasions at Gaza outskirts and cities, to the 2009 grand invasion at Jabalia boundaries in North Gaza, killing and injuring hundreds of Palestinians. All are echoes of today's calamity of Israeli missiles and mortars that rain down on Gazans. The war in Gaza has taken a heavy emotional, mental and a human loss toll on the people of the Gaza Strip. The 23-day war harvested the lives of 1550 Palestinians while the number of injured people reached 5500, half of which became disabled forever and in need for medical rehab and reintegration services. The financial strains resulting from the injury and disability added to the misery of the loss of shelter and all other livelihood. People who became so burdened by the siege, the subsequent war and the following tighter siege are becoming deeply traumatized and stressed. From the very first days after the war on Gaza came to an end, the Wafa Hospital field team identified cases from different areas of Gaza Strip. Subsequently, reaching out for these cases and improving their health conditions was a top priority in light of the continuum of the siege and the blocking of travel through all Gaza terminals. سمعنا صوت طيران وخدناش ولا ادينا صار ضرب يضرب عشوائي بعد زي كنت بدريسي غير بعد اربعين يوم بغيبوك في المستشفى بعد ما فقت بقولوا مش اللي صار معاي بقولوا لي كدمات على الحبل الشوكي صار معاي كدمات على الحبل الشوكي وكسر في الفقرات This is one of the cases that sustained a direct injury during the war that resulted in a quadriplegia. The case needs daily medical rehab sessions as well as health education to his family members to help them learn about the needs of their son and the management of his case. خدمات طبية بديو بكراسي متحركة كراسي حمامات أدوية في الجيوب الحمد لله بقصروا والحين تحسنا شوي شوي وكنت شعر بحرك كده يصير تحرك كده يعني من ناحية علاج طبيب عملوا له وغالبا انبسط لما اشوفهم زي هيك يعني كل في اسبوع مرتين بقول يعني بعد ما اروح كمان اسال ابني يعني بقول انا مبسوط عشان بزوروني Rafah was exposed to several dramatic circumstances in the last 10 or 15 years, such as several Israeli raids, huge destruction in infra infrastructure, closure from different areas, high unemployment rate, high incidence and prevalence of disability, different disabilities, physical, 
sensory, mental, etc. Physically challenged cases and rare affected people who are already admitted in Mercy Malaysia funded project have been receiving all services of medical rehab in community based manner through home visits. Those services include physical therapy sessions, occupational therapy sessions, nursing care, psychosocial support, surgical interventions when needed, medications, and technical aids. Many rehabilitation programs were implemented as outreach programs in Rafah area. One of the most programs was Mercy Malaysia and El Wafa Medical Rehabilitation Hospital Program, which is the current program running in Rafah area. They need to extend a helping hand so that people of Gaza can get the minimum safety and hope in their life.